Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my modded Skyrim Let's Play. This is Vela Vicasius from the Dark Edge of Light here once more. And we are standing here under the stars of the moon at the Ritual Stone where we just took care of a couple of necromancers and their skeletal buddies. So we're going to keep heading towards the east off into the wilderness. We go as we track towards Riften and Iverstead. So I'm going to head back down out of here. Now there was some giant horsey lizardy thing frolicking around earlier, but I don't know exactly where that got off to. But I am interested still in what this bear paw is, so I'm going to try and cross the road here and see if we can't maybe find something out about it. You know, this cairn might mark something of interest. I've been seen. What have I been seen by? Hmm. Oh, wait. Yep, that's what I was seen by. Well, let's deal with that right now. Okay, we're hidden again. So, one thing I noticed right here is there's mammoth bones. That's generally a bad sign. I don't think it's going to be all that happy. There we go. And I, I'm noticing there's also some like frosted, tufted ferns here, so I'm not really sure what I'm getting myself into, but I can pretty much guess it's going to be bad. Got a torch bug, <coughs> Luna Moth. Awesome. There we go, we're we're approaching something here. Oh, sorry about that. Slight change in perspective there. Let's sneak up here. Oh, this might be a uh, Stormcloak camp now that I think about it. If you know yep, it, that's exactly what it is. Or die well. Okay, so we've managed to find a Stormcloak camp. So that's kind of awesome. Some people here, that's kind of neat. You got another map. Yeah, some cots and stuff. I am planning to join the Stormcloaks fully as we move forward, so yeah, that's that's kind of cool as well. Oh, we're definitely gonna leave those things for them. Oh wow, some free horses. Those are not saying that it would be stealing to ride them. Well, that's kind of interesting. Not gonna bother though. <laughs> Riding horses is a bit of a pain in the butt. But definitely pretty interesting here. Got some nifty stuff around. Nothing I'm really looking to kife at the moment though. So we will head on and leave them all in peace. Instead of in pieces. As I spin around here just to see if there's anything else really close by that we want to hit up, I've got a, a trigger in that direction, supposedly. Oh, okay, that's High Hrothgar and the Orphan Rock and the like. That'll be jobs for a later time. So, yep, time to head back down to the road. That discovery is completed. Sort of poke around as we go, though. Mammoth head in the ground there. That's got to be all kinds of fun, right? But yeah, here we go. You notice I do a lot of jumping and parkouring around. I get a little bored with just trudging, so try and keep it interesting. Try and find places that I might not supposed to be able to get to. Or that I am supposed to be able to get to, but that they don't necessarily expect you to jump to. And then again, you also find things like this. We got some corundum here, so that is a good thing. Though I don't know what that is in the distance there. I'm a little concerned. Once I'm out of this animation, I'm probably going to have to kill whatever that is before it tries to kill me. Let's see. 
Where exactly was that? Oh, there it is. And... Oh, it's a saber cat. But apparently I hit so hard he didn't know what to do anymore. Well, there we go. Saber cat kill, that gives us an eye of the saber cat. One of my arrows back and a nice pelt. Excellent. Strip him down. I will make sure there's no more corundum here, but ah, oh, there is. Excellent. Let's just make some improvements to our steel weapons, so it's definitely worth having. Until I can get enough of the moon ore. All right. <coughs> So, off we go. Pass the dead saber. Grab some tundra cotton over here. Awesome. And oh, he apparently ate a skeever. Well, isn't that interesting? It's also one of the other things that the Skyrim Monster Mod did. It made sure to put in appropriate AI for everything. So that you really got a feel for things being, you know, alive. A oh, wildcat, huh? So we are starting to get out into areas where wild creatures are starting to want to eat us. But you know, it's, it's a good thing. Oh, I'm shooting at something, but it's apparently getting away. So that's kind of a shame. Well, we wanted to head back down in this general direction anyway, since we are starting to approach the tower. So that is our next goal. Right there in front of us, you can see it. It is not necessarily a wonderful thing. Oh, and spiders. Why is it always spiders? I hate spiders. Now the question, of course, is what the heck is up this path? So let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Now there doesn't seem to be anything this way, but there's a path here, so we're going to take a quick look at it. There we go. No idea what's up here, to be quite honest with you. Might give me a vantage on dealing with the bad guys in that tower though, so it's worth checking out. Oh, that's... Oh, that's kind of a scary concept. All the bugs just went silent. That actually kind of scares me a little. Okay, I have no idea what I'm approaching. But there are stairs in the hillside. And a giant mammoth head ahead of me. So this... Hmm. Interesting. I'm really not sure what I've just walked into. I'll admit I'm a little concerned now. Oh crap. Oh giants. Giants. Oh that's... that's all kinds of special. Is, is that a giant too? No. But, but that is definitely a giant. Okay, well, I am really not ready to confront any giants, so we're going to back off from that. That is not our time yet. We, we do not yet have the strength to deal with that, so... Uh, 
All right. So we're going to head back down. And there is, in fact, the tower in question. It is our first stop, and we're actually going to come to a halt right up here. This is a short episode. But, well, there's not actually an inside to this tower, so no. You know what? We're actually going to take it out right now. So, here we go. Just going to slow mode here. And you'll notice there's a guy up there. You can see him. Wow. Not sure if I'm missing low or high. Ah, there we go. <laughs> One shot kill there. Excellent. Now there's something going on there. Let's see, here we go. Boom! Although he's going to take more than one shot. Oh, right in the shoulder! Pretty sure that was a carotid artery we just took out there. That was a pretty awesome shot. Okay, wait, I see somebody moving there. Awesome. And... Oh, good, they... Well, Damn it, it did not stop long enough. Okay. Let's slowly try and move our way forward a little bit more. As we also look down into the water there. Sneak still skill keeps going up. A oh, nice shot there, Lydia. <sighs> Boom! Oh, look at him fall. Oh, that was a good shot. I'm gonna have to remember to go collect from him. Holy crap. That was one heck of a fall. Okay, so I'm going to sneak underneath the tower here. And then we're going to see... Whoa! Oh, that's that weird lizardy thing. So we're going to go check that out if we can. Good grief. Things quick. Alright, well. We've got to go collect our stuff from that body that fell. <laughs> Assuming, of course, we can actually find it. Which is not a guarantee. But he fell right around here somewhere, I believe. Let's see. That was a heck of a shot, too. Oh, shoot. He might have drifted away. Wait, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so sorry, Adlaw, but hey, I'll take those arrows. Awesome. A skull. Nice. 
Okay, now let's time to head back over to the other side. And slowly creep up and deal with whatever other guards may be here. There shouldn't be many. I'm pretty sure I shot them all. But you know, there's, there's no reason to not be careful. So, there we go. Let's creep forward here. And uh, open the door. Okay. Now we've got the trap trigger here, which we can actually pick separately. That unhooks it. Let's just go in and snag the golden stamina without triggering the trap. So that's excellent. Couple potions of minor healing, that's good. Now I'm not sure which way is the out here. Well, that way is an out. This is just a dresser with regular clothes in it. And now an arrow sticking out of one of the drawers. That's awesome. Okay, let's slowly get up here. All right. Doesn't look to be anybody downstairs here. Oh, look at that cheese wheel. Cheese wheels have a surprise surprisingly decent value, so they're worth snagging if you're taking a bunch of money hits. I snag some garlic. What's in this barrel? Ah, just carrots. Don't want any of those. Alright, let's creep up here and make sure there's nobody else who's going to be able to take shots at us as we go across the bridge. We go all the way up to the top now. And this, of course, is where we shot the first guy that we killed. Whose body is... Yeah, I've got no idea where that body might be at this point. It went away. And... Doesn't appear to have any sentries on the other side or even anybody patrolling so that's kind of foolish of them but okay so we're gonna come back down the steps and quickly check this area here out make sure there's nothing we want from it which there isn't and now we're gonna head over and across the bridge. So the first bit to get across the bridge is quick. We literally would just get to the center part here. And there we go. Now, now we could be in the danger zone. And so now you see we have other problems. Now where the heck did that shot come from? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that one's down. Did that bandit chief really just take a plunge? Oh 
Oh god. Oh, thank heavens I hit the water. That was almost very, very bad. He keeps falling. There we go. Boom. And there is my loot. So, 109 gold. An iron great sword of frost. That's pretty sweet. And a Nord skull. I'm not really going to bother with these bits. Well, actually, it is steel armor, so we may as well grab it, throw it on to Lydia, and then we can break it down if she doesn't need it. But now, of course, I've got to go back around so that I can actually get inside to check out the other side of the tower and the person that I dropped that was on the other side. So, Still here. Lydia, I need you. I am sworn to, take to carry your burdens. <laughs> yet more stuff. You almost feel bad when you hear her say it that way. But not really. You know. Okay, and... That's... Oh, we, we've actually reached her... Her limit. My goodness. Wasn't that something? We're actually going to have to head back to town soon. Lead on. But you'll notice that she has actually equipped some of it this time. So we've actually started to get a hold of some decent upgrades for her. So that's pretty cool. And again, Lydia will be my follower most likely since she'll also become a storefront. And she's a competent fighter, despite everybody's complaints about her. The only other one I'd be really interested in would be... Uh, the Huntress from the Companions, and I don't think you can actually get her, though I'll have to look into that. Alright, we're going to draw a bow again, make sure that we don't run into any other problems, but I'm pretty sure we've taken care of everybody. And there's a potion of minor healing, that's always a nice thing. Anything in the table? Uh, a book and a roll of paper. We'll take those. Cool. We're out the other side. Let's go collect from the bandit that I dropped on the cliff side here. There we are. A very cleverly placed location there. Not quite clever enough, but, you know, it was pretty good for what it was. And another corundum vein, so we'll make use of that while we're here. Awesome. Boom. Alrighty, excellent. Grab some flowers. And now let's go check out the top part of this tower. Just to make sure there's nothing else for us to steal and in fact there's a couple herbs and a potion nice little alchemy lab there that's kind of neat yeah, some new books and a dresser what's in the dresser nothing much there we'll snag the drum well, why not we might as well snag all the books as you know, we do have the Dovican's hideout to fill up a library in, so we'll do that. Cool. And we've got a novice lock chest here. Boom, there we go. Nice. Ooh, an elven helmet. That's pretty cool. I'll leave the other stuff there, but the elven helmet is definitely worth it. Let's see here. So tucked over in the corner here, we've got really very little, but we'll snag the various drinks and put the table there. Okay, good. We've got a little more money, a little more wine. Oh, now there we go. There's an archery up. How awesome is that? Kicks me up to 39 archery and gives us a level. Sweet. Some more paper. 
There's a wardrobe here. And a chest. Where we have banded iron armor of major health. A circlet of conjuration. Some dwarven gauntlets. Fluorite. Meridia's beacon. I have no idea what that is. And some gold. A new hand Whoa. touches the beacon. Oh boy. Listen, hear me and obey. I don't a want to. Darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. You sure about that? Return right. my beacon to Mount Kilcreef. Mount Kilgreef, huh? I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. I am not sure that is an attractive offer, but you know what? We'll we'll do it at some point. I'm sure. No idea when, but at some point I'm sure it'll happen. So there we go. That is that zone. Let's get back across the bridge and then we'll level up. Before continuing on our way, I'll probably make a stop between this and the next episode to offload some various bits and pieces. But outside of that, we'll be picking up where we left off, right outside here. As always, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share me around. And you can find a link to my Facebook in the description. From there, you can find the list of all the mods that I'm using in this Let's Play. And you can also find that entire list in the first episode of the Let's Play. Once again, I am Vale of Costis with the Dark Edge of Light. This has been a Skyrim modded Let's Play. Have a great day, and as always, game on.